I read it in the New York Times while at the same time I had like five friends sending it to me as it came out, knowing that it would be something that was, would be would turn me on and be interested in. Um, yeah, and that and that became you know then my agents reached out and they said, hey, you know, have you read this article? And I said, yes, I have. And they said, well, would you be interested in in you know option and material to produce? I was producing, uh, getting into producing more at that time. And I was like, yeah, this is a great story and it has to be told. And it's, you know, it could be popular. It's, you know, it could be, it could be a great, popular, fun, well, you know, horror flick, but, um, but a true story. We did, um, you know, Mark first reached out and we talked on the phone for quite a while and, and really got, you know, really came to understand that he was, he was doing it for the right reasons and really wanted to get the story out there. And then he came out and met with, with me and with my wife, Sarah, and with the boys. And then we actually spent some time out in West Virginia. So we spent a lot of time together and I actually got the chance to, to watch a lot of the filming because it occurred, a lot of it in Cincinnati and some of it even in our offices. So that was a really great experience and he did a fantastic Thanks. job. Well, I mean, it's a, it's a, <clears throat> so it's, it's kind of a genre movie. I mean, it's a whistleblower, all the president's men, spotlight, you know, it kind of, it, it has its own little genre niche. Why I wanted Todd to do it was because I knew he would bring like real deep character work into it and a beauty to it and a, and a, and a spaciousness uh, I mean, I could see what he would do with it. And and you know what? He's great with people who are alienated and alone under oppressive systems. I mean, he he does that better than anyone. I was surprised that anyone didn't see uh, that immediately. Um, and, you know, it took some doing. We're on the phone for a couple of hours, I'd say, or an hour. And I think his first response was, I don't really, you know, I, I, he said, I, I kind of do my own thing. So I, I, I know, but, you know, we could always do something else. And, and he's like, well, truth be known, this is, this is my favorite genre. And I was like, yeah, it doesn't surprise me, um, going back to safe. And, um, yeah, it just it's it was a stroke of of inspiration to 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 go to him, and I'm just such it's such a gift that he decided to do it. Well, I think it was the voice of Wilbur Tennant, you know, saying, "Look at this, you know, you, when you see this, it'll it'll make sense, and you'll you'll see there's a problem here." And when I started digging into all these documents, I was getting the same feeling. You know, this to me was obvious, and there was a public health threat. And if we could just get that information out, pe other people, once they see this, they'll get it. Um, and that's what I've been trying to do ever since then, is just get more people to see what's going on in, in hopes that everybody else will see that's a problem that we need to stop. I mean, right at this moment in time, we have to think us, not me. And, and I think what the film ultimately is saying is that we have to be part of our world, that we have to be informed and that we have to stand up for each other and we have to stand up for our communities. And that we, can't, we can't sit back and expect the government to do it or the scientists to do it, although we need them. We have to, we're the ones who have to drive these changes. And, and they're big, these are big problems that need to be addressed. But now's the time to do it. And now we have the information because of people like Rob to, do, to, to make those changes. You need the information. Kaplan is completely safe for cooking. Besides being completely safe. Rob, really? I am a corporate defense attorney. Some video tape in you know. 巨大企業が隠し続けてきた水質汚染の実態。
she gave birth to a baby with one nostril and a deformed eye. Not enough to poison these people, they gotta swindle them too. Not the companies, not the scientists, not the government. We protect us, we do. But it's not failure. Well, these people have crossed the line. To hell with them! You know DuPont better than anyone. What haven't they thought of? Or get sick tomorrow. We need a way to protect them into the future. Dark Waters. Big Brother.